Today, we will learn about frequency modulation. We will need a message signal. So we will need a sine wave source. So go to the simulink and then source and then sine wave. Now we will need a frequency modulator passband. So go to the analog passband modulation and from there select the FM modulator passband. We will need a scope to see the graph. So go to our simulink and then commonly used blocks and then scoop. Connect all the blocks. Now we have to change the parameters of our sine wave. Change all the parameters. The amplitude is one, okay. The frequency is one, we will change it into six. And then the sample time will be 0 0.001, okay. Now change the FM modulator passband parameters. Here carrier frequency is 300 we will change it into eight. And frequency deviation is 50, we will change it into five, okay. We will also change the parameters of our scoop, so double click it. Our axis should be two, okay. Now we will simulate it Double click the scoop, we will see the graph. Look, this is our message signal and this is our frequency modulated signal. If we want to see the message signal and the frequency modulated signal in the same graph, we will have to use the mask. And so here this is, this is our mask. We have connected the FM output and sine wave output here and then we have connected the mask output to our scoop. So click it. Look, the yellow one is our frequency modulated signal and the pink one is our message signal. This is the pink one, it is our message signal. And this is the yellow signal, it is our frequency modulated signal. That's all for today's lecture. Thank you very much for your kind cooperation. Thank you.